All right, we're going to take a look at some basic tab management. Um, and if you're like me or a lot of other people, you might find yourself with several windows open at one time or several tabs open at one time. And, you know, these these little graphics get smaller and smaller and smaller. And we need to take some time and do some tab management. Um, just some shortcuts here. If you open up a new tab, the shortcut to do that is Control T. All right. And if you're in a tab and you want to close it really quickly, that shortcut is Control W. All right, you can always just click on the plus button and then the X to do those as well. All right. Um, you might find your, your tabs, you know, I'm working on this Desmos activity here, but I also have my Google Classroom and I want them close to each other. You can simply click on a tab and drag it and move its position in that lineup. All right. Another thing you might find is, you know what, I'm always in Google Classroom. All right. And this tab is taking up a lot of space. Something you could do is you could right click on that tab and you could pin it, all right? And in pinning it, it'll slide it all the way to the left and kind of make it this uh, shorter or smaller tab. I usually do this for Google Drive as well, just because I'm in there so frequently, all right? And then by pinning these, you kind of make more space for more tabs um, to use, okay? Another thing you wanna learn how to do is a split screen, all right? And you can do a left split, split, split screen or a right. Uh, there's a couple ways to do this. Uh, one way is to click and hold at the top right here, and now I am on a Chromebook, okay? Um, if I click and hold, I do get these arrows, and I can now move this to the left. I can move it to the right, all right? Or you can press Alt Plus and go back to full screen, uh, or simply click this middle button and go back to full screen. On a Chromebook, there's a shortcut to do a, a split screen. If you hold the Alt key and press left bracket, which is right next to the letter P, you can push it to the left and Alt right bracket pushes it to the right. Uh, and something that I'll do frequently is I'll leave my Google Classroom open on the left-hand side. And if I'm working on this Desmos activity, I can take this tab, click and hold and drag it out. All right. And then you can kind of line it up and do a split screen. So you can work on both of these projects at the same time. 